so. video we're gonna be painting this truck all right so I got most of the decals and badges tripped off I just unbolted the tunnel cover and sponsored by twits now it's time to take no i'm not sponsored at all no i need to though we need that we need those you want me to help you now um, well, after all those times they said yo mike can i take the car to the gym no mike can i take the car to the gym no We're back, and uh, this is what we got. So we have most of the bed sanded, uh, most of the door sanded, and a little bit here and there of the actual cab, front quarter panels and hood. And quickly, I'll show you guys what I'm doing, doing sanding wise. So what I got right here is just a, you know, high quality Central Pneumatic Harbor Freight uh, orbital sander. And um, I just have 180 on there and then uh, what I do after that is I just go by hand with this sponge right here, uh, one side softer than the other, and I just uh, am using 320 and 220 by hand on the entire body of the car. Why are you taking all the doors off, by the way? Because you have to spray the inside, the door jams. You can't get everything ready. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Good. This is a culmination of all my work. Hundred thousand hours. <laughs> we're gonna see how it comes out. Uh, but everything's already uh, degreased, tack cloth, and ready to rock and roll. Activators in, reducers going in right now. Ten percent maximum. Three things you need for a good paint job. Your paint, prep surface, and a whole lot of confidence. Rock and roll.
it's done. Actually, actually this time. Um, unlike yesterday, I only was able to get one coat in because I sprayed it so heavy and I had too much pressure. So it kind of the paint didn't lay right and I had a lot of runs in a different a lot of different areas. But um, I let that dry a bit longer than every other coat and I let it overnight. It was a bit cooler, probably like 70 degrees and the activators for 80 to 90. So it had a slow time to cure and kind of set. But uh, after laying the top couple coats, man, is this paint flat. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's still some runs right there. You can see one, but a lot of them are in the areas you won't be able to see or see very well, at least like behind the cab. But uh, definitely some are uh, along the bottom of the kickers. But I mean, and I also just sprayed the last coat probably like 15, 20 minutes ago. So it still has some peel and still has to lay out. But overall, it looks so good. And the color is so nice. I mean, it really, it really is the paint that you buy. You really have to get the best quality paint because um, that's the most important thing. You know, that's what you're spraying, the paint. You don't want to cheap out on that at all. And uh, the Eastwood single stage really just lays so flat. And uh, I couldn't be happier with my first time painting, uh, painting a whole cab. So uh, let me get out of here before I dirty it up. Jesus Christ, yeah. So that's pretty much all you're going to see in this video. Um, in the next video, I'll post... Uh, you'll see me spraying the rest of the stuff like the bed, um, doors, door handles, all the little stuff. And also see this out of here and in the sunlight, see how it looks. Uh, it still won't wet sand it by then because you have to wait a couple of weeks. But uh, yeah. Truck's painted. Blue. But yeah, if you guys like what you see, uh, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. It's not the ideal location to paint a truck uh, in your driveway, but uh, we're going to make it happen. Or else you won't be seeing this video. Get in the car. <laughs> Shut up. Ah, oh, first try. How am I supposed to train him? What do you mean train him? Train him how to knock